Just took the dog for a walk and we're going to talk about how much the bad weather is affecting efficiency. Jump! Mossy and I just had to get out of the house. We've been stuck at home a lot. So when we had the opportunity to come to Ikea so that my wife could uh, get a few things at Ikea, we jumped at the opportunity. And here we are enjoying this horrible weather inside the car. When the weather is like this, you usually will see a reduction in your efficiency because the tires are obviously not going to be as efficient. Their rolling resistance is going to be reduced and you're going to see an overall reduction in the range that you might expect to see. So we're just going to head back to Ikea. We just got a coffee at the Starbucks and my wife was visiting her family at a distance, walking through the Ikea. So this is a, a quick opportunity to drive around town and just kind of experience how this kind of bad weather is affecting the efficiency with the temperature at around 14 degrees Celsius. What no one probably tells you when you buy an electric car, or maybe you know this already, is that you're using power for everything. You're using power for sitting in the car and running the heat and air conditioning. What you need to realize is that that eats into the range that you would maybe need on a given day or days, depending on how often you can charge. If you can charge at home, it's not a big deal. But when you live in a condo or an apartment where you don't have charging, then that starts to become some kind of an issue. Uh, honestly, for us, it hasn't been much of an issue because we have charging close, close to our home and my wife can also charge when she drives into work. So there is also a big advantage to that. You can bring your dog, Mozzie, for example, in this case, and you can leave him in the car and you can turn on your air conditioning or your heat knowing that your dog will be safe because the car will be kept at the right temperature with the dog mode. That is honestly one of the biggest benefits with the features on the car is that we could keep our dog safe in any kind of weather. So it doesn't matter if it's really cold or really hot, the dog is safe. So in 35 kilometers of driving, we actually used 50 kilometers of range, about 70%. So the point is that the wetter it is, the, the more reduced your range is. It's not so much as in really bad cold temperatures because you don't need to use your heating system as much. So you get a little more range on wet days in the spring, summer, and fall because you're not using as much of your HVAC. The other thing is when you're out and about a lot, you also end up using a certain percentage of your battery just for idling, uh, heating the car, keeping it cool. The car sat around for a few hours and that used up about 4% of the battery or about two kilowatt hours of energy. And remember to share the data because it's electrifying. Sharing the data helps people understand more about driving an electric car and it will electrify transport. It will move more people to driving electric vehicles. I have a couple videos over here that uh, talk about what it's like to own a Tesla and uh, another one down here that tells you why we started this channel.